What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? You know who this is, and you see the picture. You see that lovely, that lovely mug there. Go look at me up on all the sites you see down there. Red Herring Mess is my channel for Red Herring on YouTube and Arrogant Asses. Is, that's basically dirty business. Now, today I'm going to talk about a special topic today. I'm going to talk about two, two shenanigans here. And it's going to be happening in a 4, 3, 2, 1 right now. Bang, here we are. I want to talk about these two charlatans. Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton. And as you can see, this isn't my picture, first of all. But as you see, this, this pretty much sums up. This is, uh, sums up the... Uh, Basically, how I feel about how many Black Americans are starting to feel about these two. Now, you know the situation down in Ferguson. Well, I'm not going to comment on that till I have everything, all the facts. I mean, or all the facts that can be released unless I go through the um, Freedom of Information Act, which I might do. But that's another topic for another day. Today, I'm talking about these two charlatans. I'm talking about these two uh, profiteers off of, off of somebody else's blood again. Now. These two guys don't show up until there's money to be made and there's big cameras to be seen. Like I said, Jesse Jackson is from Chicago. Al Sharpton is from, from Brooklyn. Leave Crown Heights. Now, if you go to Chicago, Chicago on any given weekend is a problem. Go back to Brooklyn. Brooklyn and crime is rising again. Everybody thinks that crime, like everybody says, well, New York crime is going down. Go to the borough of Brooklyn. People don't understand. New York City as a whole, but the boroughs are basically five cities that are independent of, of themselves. They just all come together as New York City. It's like it's like how you go. It's like it's like putting if you put uh, uh, like say I'll, I'll make up cities. It's like if you it's like the Twin Cities. You have St. Paul, you have Minneapolis. If, if they were conglomerate to one big city, you still have St. Paul, Minneapolis. It'd just be you know it's different. But Brooklyn and crime, Brooklyn is going back up. Go look at Crown Heights. Look at Bed even in Bed Stuy, everybody wants to move, it's, it's crowns going up. And, and heaven forbid you walk through East New York or Brownsville by yourself talking shit. But like I said, that's another story from the day. I'm back to these two charlatans. So my problem with it is it's it's their their, their message is worn its course. And they don't want to have they don't, they don't want to help any of the younger guys come up, you know. Me personally I don't look I don't I mean I I thank them for what they have done, but now it's time to time to time to move on. Write a book. Do your memoirs, hit the circuit, you know. Like, but when I see them and stuff like this, the people in Ferguson don't even want them there. That's the bad part about it, and they don't recognize this. They think they can wave, they can wave a flag and say, and make it, every time they come, it's a racial situation. If you notice, they don't make a big deal. Whenever it's like I said, Chicago is burning. Emmanuel is bringing troops in there. Like I called, if you watch one of my videos about Chirac. Brooklyn is starting, crime is starting to go up. You think you would think Reverend Al is saying something about like that, but no, he lives in a posh Manhattan spot. So, are these two, are these, how do I, there's, everybody's saying Warmack, well, you're saying they're irrelevant. How are they irrelevant? Well, who listens to these guys? If, if Sharpen is so out of touch, how can you be, he's, he, he's, he's worse than Torre. I mean, they only like I said. Look at look at the picture. They're throwing they, they just throw gasoline on the like they should be there quelling the situation. They should be there. They can do more than, than quell. They, I mean, they can do. They should be doing more than what they're doing right now. If you're going to be there, make make a difference. But no, not these two shenanigans. What they want to do, they want to go there. And like I said, there there the clans there too. Don't be mis, don't be misled. There's the clan, but the clan is not the clan like it used to be. The clan is not the clan like it used to be. But um, that's that's another topic, like I said, for another day. We, I'm focusing on these two guys right here. And the fact that remains is that they are not helping the situation. They're not helping the family at all. I mean, they may think they are. I mean, and, and they're, they're good. They're, all they are are photo op sharks, really. Because, like I said, what Jesse Jackson, he's saying the same speech he said when he, you know, when he founded the Rainbow Coalition. His message has his message hasn't changed, but it hasn't helped for the better, right? To, as of today, that's why a lot of a lot of us guys are trying to take over the reins, and like we're we're not asking, we're telling them. You know, I have no problem. Like I said, I'm gonna tell people. Like I told people, if, if a situation like that happened, and like where I'm from, any any of the parts where I lived, 
it'd be it'd be up to myself and the community to step up and say something. It wouldn't be up to Al Sharpton who doesn't know anywhere in the community. It wouldn't be up to Jesse Jackson who doesn't know anywhere in the community. Yeah, yeah, it'll get you some views on MSNBC and Fox News. But at the end of the day, is that what they look 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 at the um, Trayvon Martin situation? It still happened. Nothing got done, and they were down there. What happened after Trayvon? What happened after the Dave's incident where the young guy got killed in, at the McDonald's to also in Florida? What happened? They make these little appearances, and after the fact, and everybody, you can get mad at me if you want, but the, the fact remains, after they leave and after the media goes, they go, and it's still the same. The same thing's still happening. Their, their, vo- their message does not relate to current situations. So, I don't know. To me, personally... I'm gonna ask you. The people gotta ask yourself this: Do you want your grandfather? Do you want your grandfather's grandfather relic World War II boots and fatigues, or do you want to go to battle with Under Armour and then rock and roll with dudes who really were out there? That's what you gotta ask yourself. So at the end of the day, if you choose these guys to be leaders, you have to understand you chose these guys to be leaders. There are guys out there that are up and coming who you need to throw your support behind. But if you don't throw your support behind them, then that's your fault. But what we're doing is we're doing it our way, and we're we're not taking we're not asking for you know forgiveness. We're doing it. We're going to be the leaders of the community, and we are stepping up. I mean, it's about time for a lot of us. But hey, better better late than never. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.